So I have here a truck which overheats under heavy load when you drive really long time uphill and also when I test drove it I feel like it doesn't have that exactly full power which it should have. And in this episode I would like to evaluate if the engine really has enough power. So basically I will check if the combustion is okay and also I will check if there is enough compression in each cylinder. To gain access to passenger side spark plugs I will remove this intake tube. That gives me access to the coils and later to the spark plugs. This is the close view with the one coil removed already. To remove spark plug I am using my special snap-on spark plug wrench and here you go this is the correct model of the spark plug because this 3.4 liter Toyota engine it has also the code 5VZ slash FE it always have to use that twin tip spark plugs and I can also see that condition of combustion in that cylinder it's very good there's no signs of oil or some white matter and so on so that cylinder is definitely running very good so short evaluation what i found out so this is the passenger side the driver side cylinders one three five two four six these spark plugs has a perfect color and condition is excellent unfortunately number two has some kind of weird deposit right here so we will see how that cylinder works in number four is flooded in the tube the tube is full of oil because tube seal gave up or wasn't installed at all or reinstalled or something this one has also some kind of stuff on it but the color of the spark plug end is good so it, it seems to be that cylinder it's firing correctly also all these plugs were completely over tightened I had to use a breaker bar to remove most of them, it's unreal, yet the torque for the spark plug is somewhere around 15 newton meters only, so it's absolutely ridiculous. And now I have all spark plugs on both sides out, I'm ready finally for that compression test, which will tell me more about this engine. And it's very simple, all I have to do I have to put my compression tester hose in one of the cylinders which I want to measure. In this case this is number 3. I disconnected fuel relay which is right here so I don't need any fuel in the cylinders. After that I attach the gauge. So I will go ahead and crank the engine for approximately 4-5 seconds. And I can see clearly that cylinder uh, number 3 has approximately 200 psi pressure. And I will go around the engine, I will measure every single cylinder, in this case it's a V6. And I will write down the data for each cylinder and then I will compare them. In general the numbers shouldn't vary more than approximately 10%. That's like the allowance that there can be the difference between the numbers. So thank you for your time, thank you for watching and stay tuned because more videos about Toyota maintenance are coming very soon. Have a nice day.